Beatitudes, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, I would like to warmly welcome you all. I believe that the conference organized today by Greece, by the Greek Foreign Minister, on the preservation of religious and cultural pluralism in the Middle East is a very important and timely initiative for our region and for Greece itself. Greek civilization has had a central role in the social, economic, and cultural development of this region, whether it was during classical Hellenistic or Byzantine times, whether it was through Alexander the Great or the Orthodox Apostolic Heritage or the role of Greek merchants in Ottoman times. Modern Greece was built developing its European identity, but at the same time cultivating its roots in the Mediterranean, in the Black Sea region, in the Balkans, and in the Middle East. It is a European country with roots and ties far beyond Europe. We are a society whose forefathers were refugees and migrants, with a diaspora of millions spread throughout the world, a society with a vibrant Muslim minority and hundreds of thousands of immigrants from all faiths and areas on the globe. A country with strong ties to the Orthodox patriarchates throughout our region. It is important heritage and reality that makes it necessary for us to act in these difficult times. This is why, even today, in our most difficult economic moment, we consider it our responsibility to take care of the refugees and migrants who reach our islands. This is why we believe that religion and culture should be used as bridges of understanding and communication, not as tools of oppression for extremist political forces. In today's globalized world, Greece is at the center of crisis that cross-cut the Mediterranean, Europe, and the Middle East. Crisis that challenge us not just on a geopolitical or economic level, but also at an existential and a spiritual one. We are dealing with a Eurozone crisis that challenges us to ask what will be the future of Europe? A future of growth, solidarity, and social justice? Or a future of austerity and rising inequality? And we're dealing with two connected crises, a refugee and a security crisis, that challenge us to ask what will be the future of the Mediterranean and the Middle East, and what will be the future of European societies. A future of solidarity, multiculturalism, religious tolerance, reconstruction and reconciliation, or a future of war, terrorism, insecurity, and exclusion. Today, we have a chance to discuss these issues and to try to search for solutions. We need to find a way to resolve the crisis in Syria, Iraq, and Libya by including all relevant international and regional actors in our strategies for the region by confronting jihadism and protecting fundamental rights and religious freedoms, by protecting communities so they can remain on the land of their ancestors or find a road to safety, by setting the grounds for reconciliation, reconstruction, and the return of refugees, by protecting cultural and religious heritage from destruction and looting. 
We need to support Lebanon and Jordan in all their efforts to preserve stability and handle enormous refugee flows. We need to support Turkey so it can return to the peace process and also deal with its own great refugee flows. We need to enhance our cooperation always on the basis of international law and mutual respect. And we need to support the resettlement mechanism from Turkey to the West that will give hope to refugees instead of leaving them in the hands of ruthless traffickers. On the Palestinian issue, we need to start talking again about the two-state solution, two states that will live side by side with assurances on their security. We need to strengthen cooperation with Egypt and Tunisia and support them in preserving and enhancing their stability and their gains from the Arab Spring. We need to find a just viable solution to the Cyprus issue on the basis of the United Nations resolutions. A solution that will allow all the people of Cyprus, Greek Cypriots, Turkish Cypriots, and uh, all other communities to live in peace and cooperation with mutual trust and without foreign guarantors. Finally, in Europe, we need to reflect on our decisions on the past 15 years in the Middle East and North Africa. What did we do wrong? And how can we all work together in our societies and in the region for a better future and our common security? Interfaith and intercultural dialogue is not only the precondition for the solution to many of these problems. Often, it is the solution itself. We hope we can establish a follow-up mechanism, a research center here in Athens, that can contribute in this direction. And I hope today, under the light of the Parthenon, we can promote further this great discussion that has continued for thousands of years in this place. So I want to welcome you and to thank you very much.